Alright you guys, ZFR back here and I want to talk to you guys about Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse because oh my god, I did not believe the hype behind this movie. Everybody was saying that this is the best superhero movie of all time, the best comic book movie of all time and you know that's obviously a bold statement so at first I did not believe them but man they were not joking. This, this is an epic movie I, I'm not even about to lie this is definitely one of the best superhero movies I've ever seen I don't know if I'd say it's the best you know when we're talking about competing with stuff like um AIDS of Ultron I mean not a oh my god I did not just say not Avengers AIDS of Ultron I'm, I meant to say Infinity War Avengers Infinity War and Civil War and I know a lot of people like the Captain America movies Black Panther just came out you know it's got a lot of competition but in my book if I'm being honest the only one of those movies I can say I really might have enjoyed just as much is probably um Infinity War but overall yeah I kinda agree with people this is definitely up there as one of the best if not the best um, superhero movie of all time and he, th there's a couple different reasons why but let's start off by um, making it very clear that this is just not another spider-man story this is not another story about Peter Parker or whatever you know Miles Morales is very much his own character and that's what sets him apart so much from all the different that's what sets this movie apart so much from all the other spider-man related movies or games so much it has a different main character miles morales is not peter parker he's not anything like peter parker they don't even attempt to um make him like peter parker miles morales is his own character he has he has a completely different origin story completely different struggles and stuff like that and it's really you it's really fun and unique to see the spider-man story um um take such a different turn you know and it was very enjoyable to see him throughout the movie because one of the big things throughout this movie is he absolutely struggles with um you know trying to feel useful like he he feels like he's not helpful or like he's not useful and that's one of the big plot lines in the story is him you know kind of um kind of finding um his place through that role as spider-man um and i don't want to go over too many of the big plot points just in case anybody hasn't seen it so we're not going to cover a bunch of crazy stuff but another thing i want to talk about in this movie is peter parker even in this movie is better than he has been in other movies the main peter parker we see in this movie is a very very um refreshing take on the character you know he's much older he's had a lot more ups and downs in life than previous versions of peter we've seen and because of that the character is just completely different another big standout is um spider gwen or gwen stacy in this movie um she was an awesome character you know um her her origin story was actually kind of um I don't want to talk about, about that, I don't want to give any spoilers, spoilers away, but it wasn't what I expected it to be, um, so yeah, that was a fun character um, to see on screen, and you know, the other Spire people, they didn't really come into play as much, like, they were definitely there throughout the, um, throughout the bulk of the movie, but, you know, they didn't, those three ones I just named, Miles, Peter Parker, and Gwen Stacy, they were the ones you spent the most time with. They were the ones um, that, you know, had all the important lines, all the important roles and stuff. Spider Noir, oh my god, I can't say it. Spider Noir, or Noir, I, 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 I promise to god, I can't say it. I don't know why, but I, I just can't. I can't get those words out of my mouth. But you guys know who I'm talking about. The black and white Spider-Man from 1939 or whatever. Um, New Air. Right? <laughs> Spider-Man New Air. Um, but anyway. Um, he, was a, he was a cool one. I really enjoyed him in the movie. Um, he was a fun one to see. The Looney Tunes spinoff. Um, Spider-Hog or whatever his name was. He, was. he was funny. He had some funny moments here and there. Um, so that that wasn't um too crazy, but it was it was it was good. It was good. 
And finally, the um, little Japanese um, Penny Parker Spider Girl. Um, she she was cool too. She was interesting, but like I said, they just didn't do too much there with those um, other characters. So. Um, yeah, overall, all of that was great. The villains in the movie were also amazing. Kingpin was definitely a good villain. Um, you know, they, they really played him up better than, um, better than you thought they would have. Like, I didn't, I didn't really ever consider him, I mean, he was a good, always a good villain, but, you know, he never really jumped out at me, like, characters like the Goblin or Dr. Octavius and stuff. But in this movie, he does, you know, and so with that being said, definitely a much better villain and for multiple reasons that I'm not going to go into because spoilers once again. Um, but yeah, and the other villains, because there are other villains in the movie, you've seen them in the trailers, but yeah, like, and, and there's this one specific villain. I, I, I'm not going to talk about this, I'm not going to spoil this. But I'm just going to say this, there's this one specific villain that shows up out of nowhere and you just did not see it coming until it was right there in your face and you were like, oh, <laughs> that's who that is. Um, and I'm talking about a classic Spider-Man villain here. Um, so yeah, there, there's one villain that comes out of nowhere, they kind of remix it, but it's amazing and you you just don't see it coming until it's there, man, and that, that was a great surprise. The entire speed, the the entire um theater where I was at had their jaws dropped at that part, so that was that was pretty fun. Um, the, there's also a lot of other cool villains in there like Prowler, Scorpion, you know stuff like that. Green Goblins in there, obviously. So, ton of awesome villains, ton of awesome fight scenes. The animation is insanity. I cannot even begin to imagine. The amount of work that went into the animation for this movie. I can't. You know, it, it's way too, way, way too much, um, way too powerful. It's amazing. Like, it, that's all I can simply say about it. It feels like you're watching a comic book flip through the entire movie. Like, it, it, it's like you're flipping through comic book pages the whole movie, all movie long. Amazing. So another um, thing that I really enjoyed about this movie that really stuck out all movie long was the music. Like there were so many popular songs that are out right now. Um, so many great original soundtrack uh, um, designs and stuff in this movie. Like the music was on point all movie long from start to finish. Outstanding music. Um, you know, very enjoyable. So. Yeah, this movie, like, did a lot of things right, and by the end of it, the, obviously, the big thing in this movie was Miles Morales becoming the new Spider-Man, and that, that was the main plot of this movie, that's basically the summary of this movie, and, yeah, it, it felt, it, trust me, it convinced you by the end, like, this, like, this kid, <laughs> like, this kid earned it, man, um, so yeah, with that being said, very much did enjoy this movie, loved it to death, um, probably even go and buy this on Blu-ray or DVD when it comes out, um, because that's just how good this movie is. This is definitely a movie I could re-watch over and over and over again. Um, so yeah, very enjoyable movie, um, really enjoyed Into the Spireverse, um, the hype is real, believe it, definitely believe it. If you haven't seen it, I recommend going to see it before it leaves theaters. It deserves the support. It's an amazing movie. Um, but if not, then definitely pick this up later on on DVD or whatever. Um, you know, this movie is great. This this is like um this is up there. Um, right, I'm gonna say right behind Infinity War for me as mo like when it comes to best movies all last year in 2018 man this is up there right behind infinity war it's a great movie but anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave likes and comments down below telling what you guys think and i will see you guys on the next one zfr out guys